Hey, morning everyone. I, I wanted to talk about um, relationships at work and how to sort of maneuver them, how to deal with difficult people, how to not be so sensitive uh, at work. So this comes from my own experience. So when I worked in elite sport for football clubs, uh, one in particular, there was obviously a big team, there was the playing, uh, the players, and then there was the coaching staff. And so there was a big uh, team dealing with things under high pressure. And you maybe can relate to this, you're working uh, in, in a team and having to sort of get along with everyone, and but deal with the politics and the emotional stuff, which I found quite difficult. <clears throat> so. I found everything really difficult. I found people's behavior very confusing when uh, I was very much focused on working as part of a team. And then you would get people who were uh, just, you know, looking after themselves or hiding or yeah, just being kind of selfish and short-sighted in the, in the big scheme of things. So, you can, you know, the sort of old school way of dealing with that is just people would say, oh, come on, you're just too sensitive. Just get on with it. Um, you know, that's just how it is. Oops. Just, uh, you know, don't worry about it. Get on with it. I was told those kind of things, but I would take it home with me and I would worry about it. And I'm just walking uphill. Um, it would just really, um, things like I'd be confused, I'd be uh, lying in bed at night worrying about what other people were thinking and angry, always like angry at people and not understanding. And it would, I'd bring it home, it would cause problems at home and it just stressed me. So it didn't work like people saying, I'll oh, just get on with it just numb yourself, just shut yourself down to it, just suppress it. Now, what I learned to do was this concept of finding the truth about a situation. And you do this not by using your mind, although your mind, the framework of like the Taoist principles of strong and weak, the opposites, uh, big, small, uh, you know, um, calm and angry, those type of things, they come into it. <clears throat> uh, so let's say a situation where I was angry with someone and I, uh, for, for doing something and I was worried also that they were critical of me or something like that, then, you know, that would bother me. But what you have to understand is if you're, if there's an emotion about a thought, so you're like, oh, I'm really angry with that person for doing that. Or I'm really worried that they're angry with me. If that is the truth, if they are angry with me and that's the truth, there would be no emotion. It would just resolve it. You'd know the truth about the situation. And what I found was if I could discover the truth, it would resolve all my emotions. So. You use your insight to be able to find the truth. You can't use your mind. I mean, Byron Katie's work is called the turnaround, where instead of saying, um, they're angry with me, you turn it around, I'm angry with them, or I'm angry with myself, or they're angry with themself, themselves. And that can resolve it, yes, uh, but it's a bit limited because you could be picking up on someone else's stuff. Uh, so this concept of finding the truth or in other ways like shining light into darkness, whenever there's darkness, you're going to stress and be, have uncertainty and um, like powerful emotions about it. Um, so another example of this is, um, I mean, there's so many, yeah, there's someone, one of my clients, uh, they, I often feel confused about their behavior. 
I went, what? So before it would really bother me and I'd worry and ruminate over it and get stressed. I don't know if you know what I mean. Like I just keep going over it and it would ruin my day, weeks even thinking about it. But now what I do is I look at the situation and I go, okay, is this me or is this them? And what I, I'm doing is using the Taoist principles of strong and weak. So uh, energy is either strong or weak. And when, when I feel a drop inside my torso, let's say with this person, them, then I've, I can kind of go and look at their computer. Now, it's not like you're hacking them. This is like decentralized computers and you, you just, because it's bothering you, you want to go, oh, is it their stuff? Okay, what is it? Now, everyone has weaknesses on their computers. So just strengthening it, actually you're doing them good. And with this one particular client, I go in and go, okay, they, their perception of themselves is not very strong or their, it's their own confusion about the situation and the moment I find the the underlying the truth it resolves the confusion now I'm probably money has a lovely dog here um, I'm probably not explaining this very well but just bear with me because each time I explain it hopefully it gets a little bit easier this will change your life this is the thing that has taken me from someone who's anxious worried uh, angry, like in the storm constantly of emotions to having absolute clarity. And when I say absolute, I mean, I'm not like this guru. Sometimes I get, I'm not neutral, but I, I have the toolkit to be able to deal with it. And it, it's just kind of saved my life and, and my health and, and liberated me to enjoy my family and, you know, my life. So, um, really, think about this concept of finding the truth whenever there's a situation in your work or you're an entrepreneur and dealing with um you know consultants and people working for you whenever you have an emotion like anger frustration worry confusion whatever and it's bothering you you're believing an untruth and when you use your insight to be able to find the actual truth it will resolve it instantly now somebody could say Oh, this is bullshit, Rob. This is woo-woo. This is, uh, I, do, I get paid a load of money to do this for some top, top people in the world. Top businessmen, top sports people, because they want results. And I don't care theoretically if it sounds crazy. All I want to be able to do is get results. And so for myself, I don't give a shit if it's woo-woo. This is uh, liberating me. I can find the truth. Oh, okay, it's that, that, that. Strengthen myself and then I'm back being happy and can be productive with my work situation. So, you know, the mind will always come in and go, oh yeah, but that, what if it's not that? What if it's crazy? That sounds crazy, da, da, da. But, you know, I've been doing this long enough not to, just to know that this, this works. So that concept of finding the truth is crucial for your business life, for any type of job situation. And of course you've got Christmas coming, which is another type of team. You've got your family arriving, which is the ultimate test, isn't it? Because you're triggered left, right and center. Okay, uh, that's just me explaining that. I'm gonna talk about it more in the future just because it's so important. And it takes people a lot of time to actually get this. It's so obvious and simple, but it so uh, goes against our minds. Um, well, I hope uh, hope that was interesting. Listen, if you would, um, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. If uh, you and, and subscribe, it really helps me uh, to see that people actually want to listen to what I'm saying. And um, listen, have a great rest of your week. And uh, remember, when you find the truth, uh, you know you get peace and you resolve things.